Because, you know, well, pranks are fun. Do it! Do it! Do it! Yeah. Enderman yes! shelter. Okay, here we go. After all that, I finally get the Enderman shelter done. Hey, welcome back, guys. It's Lotter Havoc here, and today we've got, you know, some fun stuff to do. Yes. Um, I know that uh, I had a lot of fun doing those chance cubes, and I hope you guys enjoyed that episode. And then the last one I actually recorded was the Unstable Ingots episode, and I want to get back to that. I want to get back to the deep dark, but I had to come back to the house because I had a theory, right? So I grabbed these torches here, and we're going to go back to the deep dark with the torches. Because I had a theory, there was a mod pack I played a while ago called The Void or something like that. And basically, if you were in the darkness, or if you were in, like if we hit F7, right? And you can see that there's little dark patches where people can spawn and stuff, right? <clears throat> and then occasionally, you'll see like yeah, like these yellow ones, right? So this is a place where shadows can form, right? And I'm thinking maybe that's how the deep dark is set up, where all those exist. And so maybe if I light the area up, <clears throat> I'll be able to walk around without getting attacked. Because I could not figure out what was attacking me. It was absolutely killing me. I was like, why am I getting hurt right now? So this is my logic. This is what we're going to try out. But in the meantime, I do want to do something else. While I was recording the episode for um, the Lucky Blocks, I had actually made this little thing called a force field controller. And it's part of Melissa's doors. It's really not too difficult to make. It's a couple diamonds, a little obsidian, some uh, repeaters, I have ender, and a comparator, right? And I'm just standing over here because I'm charging up real quick. I like to keep a full charge. So, so anyways, uh, what this basically does is it works kind of like a door. I can put a little one down right here. Uh, no, hold on. Let's do this. We'll put you here and here. No, that didn't work. Okay. Um, here. Hold on. Here and here. See, and so it just makes this little door right here. I guess I'll go around this one right now. But it's a total force field. And then if you right click on it, it actually goes away. You have to have the controller in your hand. And then you right click, it'll come back. Awesome. And then if you just shift right click, you see, it just goes away completely. All right. And then there's a durability bar down here, but it seems to fill up relatively quickly. So I thought we could take this guy, head over to, I think, Mr. Saint, because he's been talking a lot of trash lately. And I thought, you know what? Let's go mess with him. So we're going to spend the first couple of minutes going and taking him, uh, taking a visit over to his place. Because I think I want to take something away from him. I was thinking about possibly like taking away his blacksmith or oops, got a big jump. There we go. Taking away his blacksmith and just doing like a huge one over the entire house. But I don't know how much uh, like force field energy that would take. So I, I thought maybe that wasn't the best idea necessarily. Then I thought, hey, maybe we can just like prevent him from getting into his um, workshop here, right? Or his uh, his new build. Because he really loves building. So if I were to be able to take his build away, that would be hilarious because he just wouldn't be able to get in. So that was an option. And I was like, you know what? There's always ways around. I'd have to put so many force fields around this thing. Well, hello, Mr. Enderman. Oh, two of you guys. All right. Um, so I was like, no, let's just do something fun. So I'm going to take his sheep away from him. Because I don't know how often he actually watches my episodes and, like, you know, how up-to-date he gets with them. So I'm thinking if I happen to do this, where are his building blocks at? Wait, did they move him into the house finally? So I thought, you know, he's going to come on and he's just going to have this force field around a sheep and can't figure it out. And I think that would be pretty entertaining. So we're going to go. Aha. Okay, you have an inventory system here, right? Okay. So where? Oh, there the stuff is down there. How do we get down? Aha. Elevator block. Bingo, bango. I need some building blocks. So I'm going to steal some blocks. I promise I'll return them. This is not theft. This is temporary loan without your knowledge. Yes. So I thought, you know what? He likes to use a lot of the wool and stuff like that in his build. You know, like a lot of color, a lot of texture, stuff like that. So if he couldn't access his sheep, I thought it'd be hilarious. And, yeah, so I'm thinking, how high does it have to be? It's got to be high enough to go over them. So maybe like three high, and then it'll go right along this line, like 
like that. And then if I shift right click and shift right click, there we go. There's that barrier there. All right, all right, all right. And then if I put you there, then I can, oh, I gotta wait a second. So I'm gonna shift right click there. And then I need to put some dirt blocks here. And then that'll put that barrier there. And then I'll do it off this edge right here. And this will come across to here. And so bingo, bingo like that. Okay, cool. So we're gonna shift right click there and right there. And that's pretty cool. I don't know. I don't know if you can make these corners or not. Um, I mean, it looks like you might be able to. I don't know. I really, really don't know. But I am curious about it. You know what? I'm going to go into bat mode real quick because I'm going to have to put a roof on this bad boy too. <clears throat> right? Is that all the same level? Okay, cool. All right. So we're going to put a roof on this guy here. There we go. So we'll put it right there. And right. Hold on. Right there. And right there. Okay, cool, cool. Got a roofy roof. All right, that took up a lot of energy right there. But now I can go peel off this corner and go test this corner out over here and see if I can walk through that corner. Whoa, 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 what's going on? <clears throat> so we'll go ahead and uh, break down some of the blocks here and see if I can go through this corner because there is little gaps. Like you can't quite overlap them. Uh, can I go through the bat? Because bats seem to be able to go through anything. It's like a half a block, but yeah, see, you can still go through the bat. Oh. Well, hopefully you won't think about it as a bat. <clears throat> And he'll just be like, uh, what is this thing around my sheep over here? So, so interesting. Okay. And come on, recharge. We're almost done. We're almost done. <coughs> come on, recharge. You're almost there. You're almost there. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Bingo. Bingo. All right, cool, cool, cool. And then just a little bit more charge left. And I'll keep taking these dirt blocks down as I'm doing it. So I can go return them because I never steal. I only borrow temporarily, right? We don't steal around here. All right. Oh wait, I needed those blocks, didn't I? I did. Because I need to be able to put the force field on this one. Like that. And you're ready. So bingo, bingo. All right, so his sheep are fully enclosed in our awesome little forest field here. And I don't know, I'm trying to think of other fun stuff I can do with like this or either just other fun pranks to do with these guys. Cause you know, well, pranks are fun. That is so crazy that as you look through, you can't see the forest field on the other side. So it's like, huh, what's going on here? Oh, it's like fully wrapped up. Oh, and I can't fit through. Well, his sheep are very protected from any outside intruders. That's fun, fun, fun. And now we are going to go head to the deep dark. So we'll go ahead and leave you guys here. Oh, I got to return his dirt. Got to return the dirt. So we are going to go head to the deep dark. We're going to test out this uh, torch idea. I, I think it's legit. I think that's probably what was going on um, more than likely. I don't know for sure, but oops, there we go. Um, but I think that's probably what it is. It's shadows and stuff like that. I mean, it is called the deep dark. So I don't know. We'll see. But I'm really curious to see what's down in that canyon. Because, I mean, there was all those like cool like stalactites hanging from the ceiling or mites. I forget. Mites are the ones that hang from the top. Stalactites are the one on the bottom. I don't know. I don't remember. It's been a long time since I've had like a geology class. <clears throat> but we're going to head over there and we're going to check some stuff out. Come on. Come on. Teleporter area here. There we go. All right, let's go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Are you in here? Yes. And okay. Um. Oh man, I got too excited not to do it now. Okay. So I, I, I've been trying to remember 
how to get um oh what's it called the ender backpack from an enderman and i you know i was watching someone oh the link's perfect um someone's video i i'm so sorry to not give credit but i don't honestly remember what video i was watching someone was basically uh talking about it and i was like oh dude this is perfect right so i've had this enderman uh with a <clears throat> uh, ender backpack for like the longest time i'm gonna do it up in the workshop with a little open it right and apparently all you got to do oh so he's got an ender backpack on right and i've just been holding on to him for like the longest time so he still got it yes he does so apparently you put down an ender chest and if he picks up the ender chest he'll drop the ender backpack which is awesome because well my ender backpack or my other backpack is kind of full up right now and i think it'd be kind of cool just to have multiple backpacks just personal opinion or whatever but i think it'd be a pretty cool cool so this guy over here he needs to pick up this ender chest. I'm going to watch from above. So he doesn't think I'm like eyeballing him. Right? And I don't know how long this is going to take. So I, well, I'm going to keep recording. And then if I deem a break is necessary, then we'll put it in. Hopefully he does it really, really quick and it doesn't spend a lot of time. But I think I'll invest no more than one minute awaiting. If he doesn't do it in a minute, then hopefully at some point he does it. Or I'll pick him back up in the safari net. And we'll try again later. Because I want to... Oh, oh, oh. He's eyeballing it. Come on, man. That's like your people's chest right there, dude. That's your people's chest. Pick it up. Pick it up. Come on. Pick it up. Come on. You can do it. I have faith in you. Oh, there he goes. He's getting closer. He's eyeballing it. Don't look at me. Come on. Come on. I'm trying to stay behind you so you don't stare at me. Come on. You know you want it. You know you want it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Yes. Yes, he finally took it. Oh, Ender backpack. Now come here, you. There we go. Oh, the Ender backpack. Uh, oh, I've got armor on. Wait, can you? Do I have it? Oh, I do. Wow, that's that's interesting. Well, I've got it on my back. Okay, that's cool. The gun sticking out my back. I wonder if that's because anything in your first yeah anything in your first slot goes in your back. That is so funny. Look at I'm not creeping up on anybody. Like you're gonna see me from a mile away with that gun in my hand. Oh, but we've got the Ender backpack. Awesome. Now it's off to the deep dark. Um, I'm actually gonna set down the Ender backpack right next to my other backpack right now because i don't want to I, I i do not want to lose that and i'm even gonna put the enderman in the ender backpack right and the force field controller over there and we're gonna head to the deep dark now it is time to go get our deep dark on and see what there is to offer down there if it's funny because, I, like I said, I knew nothing about it before I happened to find those unstable ingots. And now I'm, like, really excited about it. I'm like, hey, well, what's going on with all that? Ugh. Well, freaking fall damage. Come on. Come on. Oh. I can jump, like, five blocks at a time. Let's go. All right. Uh, I think the portal over here somewhere. It's kind of lit over here. There we go. Here we go! To the deep dark! And we're going to light up that area. And I'm going to make sure my night vision is turned off. It looked like it. Yes, that's all dark down there. So let's light this area up so I don't have any issues. There we go. I like. I kind of want to go down in bat mode and just fly down and I can put torches down there. Now, am I going to get hurt if I'm... See, I'm not getting hurt now. So I think the torches might have been part of the issue. Um, wow, that is so dark down there. I think I'm going to try bat mode out. And as soon as I land on the ground, I can put a torch. Let's try it. Okay. Now we're good. Now back to human form, because why not? Oh, yeah. I think these guys are, like, way stronger, too. Yeah, they're, like, taking two shots. Oh, goodness. There's... Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. 
Oh my god, a lot of mobs. Lots of mobs. Where you at? Where'd you go? Let's get this area lit up. Keep the mobs away. Oh my goodness. I don't know what's attacking me. Um, oh, it's an Enderman. Get away! Oh, you moved just in time. Oh, this Enderman's gonna piss me off. Hey! Hey! Why doesn't he die? He like me leaves before I shoot him. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh. Oh. Oh, this is crazy. I'm not getting anywhere because these Endermans are going to just mess me up. They're all aggroed automatically. Oh, I should have brought some building blocks so I could hide under them. I wasn't expecting to get ransacked by a freaking Enderman. Oh, goodness. Okay, well, we're here. There, This is an interesting looking place. Oh, come on, give my gun back. I don't know if the gun's working against him or what. I can't quite tell if it's even doing damage to him. And then they just get away from me. You know what? We're going to use the pickaxe on him. If I hit you, then I know you're taking damage, right? Come here. Yeah, see, that took damage. It's not a sword, but it can do for now. are annoying okay enderman shelter okay here we go after all that i finally get the enderman shelter done and it's just one hit okay so where to go from here uh, i know that there's structures underground so let's go looking for a structure and well i need to Make sure. Yeah, look at that. It's all like red. Okay. So we're just going to start heading out in direction. Because I know they said there's these things called. Um, oh, what did I read about? Um, oh, there's called bedrock trees or something like that. Then there's these caves that I want to go check out as well. Maybe if I... They're like tunnels. They're not really caves. And as far as I know, they just go into the void. But there's materials and stuff in them. So let's go see if we can find anything fun and useful. Oh, oh. Was that... Did I get shot? Or was that like one of those... Oh, it's you. Leave me alone. I see you. Don't think I don't see you. What hit, what hit me? Okay, I hear the arrows. Where you at? I just killed you. Okay, there we go. Okay, what all do we got in here? I'm kind of scared to be hovering over this because I know this is just a void. It, there is no bedrock at the bottom of this. You just fall out of the earth. And I don't want to fall out of the earth. That would be very upsetting, and it'd probably be really challenging to get my stuff back. But uh, it seems like there's quite a bit of material down here, so that's good. A lot of uh, building material and stuff. Lots of iron. There's some dark stone or dark gems or whatever those are called. What are those called? Dark ore. So this is crazy. There's like a lot of stuff. Is that diamond? No, that's silver. I hate silver ore. It always makes me think it's diamond. 
I can't. It looks like the concentration of ores might be a little bit higher here too. If there was a way to like set up a quarry here, that would be freaking awesome. Oh, there's some tritanium that I like. I'm not letting you shoot me. Oh, I forgot what I'm in bat mode. I have to like aim low. I don't know what's up with that. Something about that. Um, that's diamond. That is diamond. Did I? Oh, I don't have my special pick on me today. Um, you know what? I'm gonna mine up some of this stuff because I'm gonna plug the hole. I don't want to worry about falling down in the the abyss. Now it's a little safer. There's some more diamond over there. All right, we're gonna come back to this. I I want to grab the diamond. Yes, I do want to grab the diamond. Okay, we're gonna grab the diamond here. Like, I want to come back to this, but we're going to do this first. And hopefully I can find one of those houses. And then maybe that's where we can start our next episode. If I can find one of those houses. But this is just crazy. Okay. Uh, how much diamond did I just get? 12. Uh, do you know how much I would have had if I had my freaking awesome pick on me? I mean, I wasn't going to bring it here, but... Okay. So we're going to fly around a little bit more. Uh, we were heading this way. Hey, really? That's how you greet a newcomer? Oh, yeah? I got something for you. Okay. Oh, what is this? I see torches. I see torches. What do we got? What do we got? Um, these blocks aren't updating. What the frick? That's so weird. Hold on. Why are they not updating? That is so strange. Like the torches are on the ground, but they're not updating. That is really, really weird. Oh, maybe the chunks aren't updating. But what is this over here? Um, I'm running into something. Oh, it must not. Okay. Here we go. Ooh, chest, chest, chest. More diamonds. Some iron. Some gold. Um, not really in need of the stone. That's that's kind of cool. That's cool, I guess. I have a feeling I should be able to keep going. These chunks will start updating again eventually, right? There we go. It's all a matter of time. I love this gun. Let's go. I'm running out of time. I'm running out of time. Get away, swine. Okay. Mushrooms? On cobblestone? Really? I don't... Is that something that can normally happen? I don't think I've ever noticed mushrooms on cobblestone before. That's different. Any more life? Oh. I think that might be another one of those trees. This is very interesting place. Like, I'm intrigued by it. I'm very intrigued. Just need this. Oh, what was that? It's a glitch of light over here. Um, let me put you down too. You spider, leave me alone. Yeah. At least the spiders are still one hit quit. I don't know. I don't know. I want to find. I'm, I'm, I want to find one of those houses. I didn't think it was gonna be this far hard to find one of those houses. Oh wow! I just went right under it. Do you have a chest too? You have a chest too. All right. What do you have? Ooh, emeralds. I like it. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the redstone. I didn't grab the redstone last time. And some more torches. I should probably grab those because that other one had torches too. Oh, an iron. Take the iron. All right, that's just a path into the darkness. I really want to find one of these houses before we go, and then we can pick up next time with one of the houses. I mean, I don't even know what to expect. Like, this is such a like a, a wasteland here. I know there's supposed to be cave systems and stuff, 
And it looks like, I mean, going down that tunnel, it looks like there's a lot of ore to be found. But, hmm. I wonder how rare these houses are. Because I'm kind of... Oh! Oh! Fast. Fast. Torch my way. Fast. I... That's got to be a house. That was definitely not uh, a bedrock tree. Oh, look at this. Look at this. What kind of stone is that? Colored stone brick. Fre lime frequency? And extra utilities. Oh, yeah. This is an extra utility. Um, so a stalagmite coming through it. Interesting. Is there a way in up top? Interesting. I like I like to go into the top, especially since I can fly. Because, well, let's be honest. Um, oh, what's going on here? Okay. Because they're like expecting you to come from the bottom, so that's where all the defenses are at. Well, guys, I think I'm going to pause here. This is where we're going to wrap it up. Um, this episode's already got a little bit longer than I had intended. So this is what we'll pick up next time. We will go venture through this bad boy and see what this little house has to offer. So until next time, guys, I'm Slutter Havoc, and we're out of here. Peace.